so guys this is the part 8 and in this part i would be talking about remarketing so guys if you haven't watched my previous videos then i'll go ahead and strongly recommend you to watch them first by clicking on the i button and then going through the playlist so that you have a better idea of what is going on right now otherwise you won't be able to follow through so let me take you to my screen and show you what is happening so as you can see that now my ads have started spending so two rupees has been spent and this is the overview section so how you would be making remarketing is by clicking on tools and settings and then searching for audience manager which is just in the shared library and going over there and then making an audience over there so i have different accounts as well so these particular audiences have been exported from those accounts but i'll be explaining you what you can do so what you can exactly do is you can actually make a particular pitch in front of people who have already watched your videos to certain extent and you think they have a higher chance of converting into your subscribers okay and while doing so you have to also keep in mind that you have to exclude your subscribers so what i am saying is in nutshell basically you have to show ads to those people who viewed your videos or a certain video through an ad or through whatever we or whatever reason can be basically he has seen your video and now you want to show them a particular ad which directly appeals to them that do subscribe to the channel because you have already watched the video and you know that i make a content which is good enough and you should do it that's it so this is the kind of audience we should be making so we would click on plus then we would be clicking on youtube users and then we will be giving them a name so i have an experiment going on so i'll just put on the experiment so over here are a list now you have to be smart enough which particular one do you want to choose viewed certain videos you can play along with any of these okay and viewed any video as an ad or something 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 and then you know just go ahead and make that kind of audience and this is the channel which is over here then pre-fill options are there basically pre-fill means if your or whenever you are making a list they have to pre-fill it or not pre-fill it by pre-filling what will happen is basically it will take the data of the last 30 days and it will pre-fill the list and if you're starting with an empty list then it will have zero subscribe or zero people right now and then it will start filling it from today itself or the day when you are making that particular list then membership duration you can increase it to 540 days and you can decrease it to i guess one yeah you can yeah so it can be done till one day as well so do that and then just click on create and it will be created i won't be clicking on create because uh, okay i'll click on create let's see what happens yeah so it is made and it is an experiment so basically it is rule based and you can do a lot of things now i'll show you how to add this one so and now there's also one more thing Basically, when you are showing ads to people, then you obviously want to exclude those people who are already subscribed to you. So I have made a particular list for subscribers as well who are over here. So subscribers of the past 540 days. Okay, how you can make that is, I'll just exclude this one. How you can click on this one again, then you can go to YouTube users. And then over here, there's an option, subscribe to a channel okay and then membership duration 540 days that's what i did and now i have a list which is of subscribers 540 days and that's what i'm going to exclude as well so i'm going to include one list and then exclude people who have already subscribed to me because there's no point showing videos to those people who have already subscribed they have already subscribed why do you want to disturb them so we'll just exclude them so how it is done is basically it is not done through here okay first of all you have to include an audience over here and once an ad is made then only you can go ahead and put an exclusion so let me show you how it is done so browse and then you will go to a list which is your custom audience list no sorry which is your remarketing or similar audience list and then I'll just choose people who have viewed my videos for last 60 days. Okay. 
and then I'll just go ahead and remove all of these okay and that's it and I'll, I'll just skip the video creation it will ask me so I'll just make this particular campaign okay and whenever I click on create campaign without creating an ad it also asks me whether you want to make it a skippable in stream ad or a video discovery ad and that's where I'll select that I want to make it a video discovery ad then I'll just save the form okay I haven't given any detail so yeah I have entered the budget and I have to select an end date so it is 28 okay and I'll just I have to give a bid I have given a bid then I'll just create a campaign and I'll continue to campaign now in the audiences you can exclude those people audience exclusion you can also perform this particular exercise whenever you are feeling there is an audience overlap so if you feel that social media enthusiast is overlapping with media and planning you will go ahead and exclude those so I'll go into browse and then I'll go into remarketing and subscriber of my 540 days and just save yeah it is excluded so this is how you work with remarketing audiences that's it plain and simple meet you in the next video where I'll be discussing Video in the next video now.